So today I went out to Dothanburi. Actually at night because I wanted to uh, try out uh, two apps. I think they are beautiful at night. So, by the way, this is an amazing place. So tasty, you have to try. I forgot the name. Uh, never mind, this place. It's amazing. And order it with lots of onions because it's so tasty. Oh, actually, this one. Wait. Yeah, this one. Oh, sorry. This one. Yeah, this one. All right, let's begin. So today we're going to take a look at Skyview, the free edition. Now I'm finding this on Android that there is also a version, a free version uh, for iOS. It's, co it's called the Skyview Lite. If I'm not wrong, these are the same. Uh, so let's take a look and I'm going to explain to you about it a bit later. All right. So we are seeing it. It's not an open space, right? It's kind of an open space, but wow. Yeah, let's see. I can see, by the way, I can't see any stars because it's all, of course, light here, so. Hello, guys. Having fun in the boat. So basically, Skyview is an augmented reality uh, stargazing app that allows you to uh, uh, look at the sky and see the location and get information about planets, uh, stars, uh, constellations, and other uh, celestial objects. Oh, it's beautiful. Where is Earth? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> we need to take a selfie <laughs> for this. Actually, no, it's just in front of us. It's all over the place. What is this one? Sun? <laughs> of course the sun is over there. You know why? Because it, it's, 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 it's evening. Sunset. It's over there. That's why we don't have any light. Ah, that explains a lot. What with the sheep? Oh my God, sheep, what's wrong with you? We need to rotate you. The sheep likes the sun. So even something simple like seeing where the sun is, and of course understanding that this is evening and the sun is not going to be like in the sky right now, the sky area, it's pretty fun and exciting. By the way, uh, there's no need for internet connection, nothing. You can use this app anywhere, uh, offline, and it just works uh, straight on. So this is a great option, you can use it uh, anywhere, just anywhere, even in the plane. Show. Nice. So cool. The sun. Let's see again. Sun and fish in the water. <laughs> Let's see what's underneath me. So north is over there. Yeah, east. So west and east, right? <gasps> oh my god, Saturn, what are you doing underneath in the water? <gasps> oh my god, poor Saturn. He's drowning. So for me, uh, it was exciting because I didn't ever use a telescope to see the, to see the planets. Uh, and the only thing I do is just read it on the internet. So for me, it was very exciting. Wow, it's really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Let's see what other things we have here. So, solar system, moon. What? Ah, it shows where the moon is. Where the moon is, actually. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, it's over there. So it's actually hiding behind the building. So this is one of the reasons why I actually recommend using this in a wide open space where you can actually see the entire sky, um, you know, uh, landscape. Because for example, here I wanted to see the moon, right? To see how it is aligned. And I actually tried it before and it works well. Uh, but I was here in the mid, in the middle of the, of the main uh, area in Osaka, a very busy street with tons of buildings. And I tried to walk behind the buildings, but I, I didn't find a clear view uh, of the moon. Later on I did, but I didn't use the app, uh, you know, at them. Be careful of uh, Saturn, I forgot, yeah, you're going on. Oh, oh. See you! Have fun! Have fun! Beautiful! Nice! Oh, those colors on the water, I just can't. Okay, back to the app. Ah, uh, so... Mars moved a bit, right? Just a bit, maybe. It's floating in space. All right, okay, let's see other features. Um, stars, constellations. Oh, it's all okay, constellations, yeah, the animals. Brightest satellites, nebula and galaxies. Yeah, nebula and galaxies, actually, nebula. Let's, uh, crab nebula, where is crab nebula? So, we need to follow the arrow, you see the arrow. 
Now, of course, the size of the planets uh, was exaggerated, uh, but in order only for you to clearly see uh, uh, where it was located, especially uh, the close planets in our solar system. So they are big and very clear, so you can really spot them immediately. One thing that I really like about this app is uh, that it creates kind of a unique atmosphere, you know, kind of uh, blending in beautifully uh, with that night scene that I was at. Uh, it was just beautiful. And uh, that's why part of the reason why I enjoy using it so much. And suddenly uh, things start to get more contextualized. I can see information and data in augmented reality about things uh, um, in the night sky. It was beautiful. One of the great things about this app is that they give us a good glimpse Boat. of what we can expect in the future of the reality. Crab Nebula. Sheep, come on, move. What are you doing there? The with air glasses. You're not just going to see information, for example, all right, like all right, this, all right. information about nice, planets nice, and, nice. And, uh, uh, and stars in the sky. We're going to see uh, information about almost anything around us. So this was useful for so a particular case where people want to know about you know, uh, uh, star planets and other uh, celestial objects in the sky. But if you want to know about more things about your immediate surroundings, in the future, you're going to have just that. So imagine how much you can learn each day, you know, by just walking in the street, you know, uh, learn about so many things around you. It would be amazing. Of the planet on the other side, this is Abel Telescope. So if you click this, you can get more information. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah, from Wikipedia, I think. Wikipedia, some sort. All right, that's cool. So uh, let's close this one. Oh, let's see Saturn. Oh, you can also see the path uh, with uh, different planets orbit uh, the Sun, which is really nice. And there's extensive amount of information. I was quite surprised to see that, and it's very good because you don't need to get out of the app. You can find all those all this information uh, in a click away. Uh, that's good. So what can like try to point on an unfamiliar one? Uh, <laughs> the sun, of course. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, this one. Pick, pick, yes, whatever you are. Zodiac is a constellation of the zodiac. Its name is the Latin plural to fish, and it's a symbol. Uh, it lies between Aquarius to the west and Arias to the east. All right. And there's a starter which I can add it to the favorites. All right. Display. Now, for this type of app, there are quite a lot of uh, settings and also visualization settings, uh, which is nice because you can just customize it uh, to the way you want to experience it. Uh, so again, it's great. Nice. So it's beautiful. But again, I think it can be more amazing like if you view it with a clear sky, but uh, I'm here and I'm in the middle, I'm in Dotonburi. So uh, the problem is that uh, there are lots of uh, buildings here. So obviously uh, I can't get to a wide open space. Maybe I'll try if I walk like for another place I'm gonna see it. We're gonna see a boat coming. Nice. They are running over some of the planets. This is cool, like in the middle of the street there is a boat just passing through. So it was a unique moment for me because uh, I really enjoyed uh, the night scene. Uh, uh, that night it was just beautiful and the colors of the water are just amazing. I mean I could just look at this and I did actually. When I stopped recording I actually just sat there and just look at the water and listen to the sounds and it was beautiful. And of course having this uh, with me was also amazing. I just can imagine, you know, having this with air glasses, you can just walk and look at the sky and see this information without actually holding even the device. Uh, I think it could be amazing. So I definitely can see air glasses, uh, you know, the, um, the developer of this app bringing this to air glasses. It's going to be amazing. We need to find the moon. Hello, Mars. Mars is over there. I wish we can see him. Actually, you know, I see, I see one. Actually, see, you know, with my eyes, I see a bright one. Uh, but I think it's that bright is a star, right? So yeah, all those, uh, I think those that are bright are stars. Because they emit lots of light, that's why we can see them. So it's not a planet. Yeah, I think so, not sure. 
Look at the colors, look at the colors on the water, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's so beautiful here. Yeah, I was a bit of fork here because that's what happens when you have such beautiful view of both, you know, uh, the ground surrounding and the sky. Everything just sort of harmonized and, you know, and with that music in the background, it was just, for me, it was a great moment. So this is it. Uh, this is my uh, review of uh, Skyview Free or Sky uh, Sky um, View Lite, depends on which platform you use it. Available for both Android and iOS uh, in augmented reality. So if you like what you see, you find it fascinating, uh, you can just go and download it yourself and try it out. Or get a paid edition where you can probably unlock new features. And I'm probably going to take a look at this uh, later on. So this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon, guys, on the next video. Bye-bye.